This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Nicki Minaj and Drake will probably never be friends again over the Meek Mill incident. You gotta be kidding me, okay? Now, I was wondering, you know, the only reason I'm bringing this back up is Nicki just had a baby. And Drake hasn't even wished her, you know, like, congratulations, queen. You know, any, anything like, nothing like that. And, you know, these two used to be, like, really good friends. I mean, the Young Money camp, we all remember, it was unstoppable. Um, It's very sad to see relationships go down the tubes like this, but and Nikki can be petty. Let's, you know, I like Nikki a lot, but, you know, I don't blame her at the same time. Such a weird situation um, when Meek Mill decided to just go at Drake. And it got real messy, man. You know, Nikki was kind of dragged into a little bit of, when you know, a little bit when Drake was like, "Is that your girl tour, your award tour, uh, girls tour? Is that your girls tour?" Or does it, you know, it was like, "Or your tour?" It was like, you know, that hurts, you know. And then you know the the constant thing with Meek Mill. It, it, maybe she feels like Drake got in the middle of their relationship, but really, Meek Mill messed your relationship up because he should have known not to go at Drake. Because he's family, right? Like, Drake is... Like, every album Meek dropped, Drake would put a feature on it, and it would go crazy. That was always the top-selling track. He was getting that stimulus package every time. Rick Ross benefited from Drake, and Drake benefited from Rick Ross in the beginning. And it was just such a messy thing, you know? And to let that get in the middle of everything is pretty petty. But her last name is Petty now. Now, so, you know, a lot of people think that uh, Nikki gassed Meek up to go at Drake. Like, yo, you better than him. You on the same level, you know. And, you know, a lot of people think that. There's no proof of that. Meek's never said anything, really. And then Meek usually just blames it on the pill popping. He was a pill popping animal around that time. But, um, you know, he went at Drake, tried to take his career. I could never be cool with Meek Mill again if he was trying to take my career and make it so I can't feed my family. But, you know, everyone's different. You know, I think the Drake relationship with Rick Ross and Meek Mill meant more to him business-wise uh, to just put his ego aside and just say, you know what? This will work. You know, this will be fine. I can see that perspective, you know, where it was better just to not have all these problems out there. I know he missed working with Rick Ross. He mentioned that he said him and Nikki will never be good again, especially after Meek, you know, Meek probably told Drake some things too, you know, like that, that, that probably occurred. Like I remember when Meek and Nikki broke up, they were never really properly matched up. Let's be honest. And, um, cause you got two petty people. You can't have that. You know? So, they broke up, and then immediately you saw Nikki and Drake and Lil Wayne again. So things seemed like they were back to normal until just a short few months later, Drake decided to forgive Meek and brought him out of the show. And I think that's where Nikki um, probably went at Drake behind the scenes, you know, like texting him like, yo, you're a snake, da 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 Like, I'm pretty sure that happened. I mean, that had to happen. You're a snake. Da, da 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 you know that's my ex-boyfriend you shouldn't be friends with him da 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 da, da. you know and Mickey Nikki and me kept taking digs at each other for a whole year and a half to two years after they broke up so anyways it's never gonna be the same if Drake's gonna be friends with Meek it's never gonna be cool I mean Nikki just had a problem with Meek as as early as a year ago you know in some mall you know you know, it's like, not everything's forever. That's all I could say. Not everything's forever. Um, Drake and Nikki will never be friends again. If they, if you ever see them on a track together again, it'll be because of Wayne or it'll be business. You know, and it's a shame, you know, that that uh, that had to get in the mix. I'm sure Drake was a little little jelly that Meek Mill was dating um, Nikki anyways, you know. Nikki shouldn't have dated Meek's, uh, Drake's best friend. You know, if that, if that if that's how, you know, like that that's how things get messed up. If she didn't want to lose her relationship with Drake, 
you shouldn't date his best friend because it's a good chance that everything's going to go left in a relationship. It's just, it's just, you know, like you go through the lust stage and then after that, what you got, what you got on the table, you know? So Drake's pretty much said, you know, our relationship will never be the same. He said that, you know, almost a, you know eight months ago at this point, but I just really noticed it. You know, now that Nikki had a baby, he didn't even say congrats or nothing. But did Nikki congratulate him when she found out she had a son? I don't know, you know. Eh, maybe they'll work it out. Maybe the maybe maybe time will make everybody just realize like this is stupid. But people got their egos, man. Ego ego will get in the way of anything. Drake and Meek. Bro bromance. <laughs> It's getting spooky. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you have a great day. Try your best. If not, reset, restart, and try again. Peace.